Kelly with Kelly Plans It All. I'm gonna do my June planner recap and kind of go through what June looked like in my Kit Life planners, um, my weekly and my daily. Um, I'm not gonna, as usual, go like minute by minute in the daily, but just there are some places that are decorated that I wanted to share, but that's about it. But we'll start with monthly because that's where the bulk of June was. So here is my June like monthly kind of overview. I used the Kit Life kit that Design Pandemonium makes and kind of filled that in. We're still, um, well, not really under a stay-at-home order, but, you know, they kind of want to ask you to even without making any kind of order. Welcome to Texas. But basically, that means there's not a lot of plans still, but we did have some appointments to keep this month. Uh, my son had his, like, well check that he has because his birthday was the third, um, we had to, you know, go to the pediatrician. Um, we had, uh, my, my husband had a haircut appointment. I tried very tragically to cut both of their hair and it went terribly. Um, and so they had to go get it fixed. So, uh, we found a, a stylist that was, you know, had like a single room, and, oh, you can hear fireworks going off in my neighborhood. Yay, Independence Day. Um, it's also not legal to do fireworks here, but, you know, that's cool. Um, so, anyway, that happened. Uh, we found kind of a, a safe stylist, not where he would normally go, that would be a big room with lots of chairs. To get that taken care of, my son had a scout crossover on Zoom. Lots of my friends had birthdays. Um, it's my sister-in-law, some of my good friends. My son had a theater camp on Zoom. I had a dentist appointment and then I had to go to graduation for the school that I work at. So there's a lot going on this month. But pretty much, um, looks like all of these stickers are from Design Pandemonium. I'm kind of like trying to look and I don't see anything that's not. Um, I use their wacky holiday stickers. And then everything else is pretty much from the kit. Oh, there's one thing. This um, rescheduled sticker for the Freestyle of Supreme documentary was supposed to be released on Hulu on Friday the 5th because of um, all the Black Lives Matter protests. And they just felt like it wasn't a good time to release stuff, which I totally support that decision. Uh, they decided it would be best to postpone that. So they've actually moved it to July but uh, I used this little rescheduled sticker from an actor plans and at the time we didn't have a date for it but now we do so let's go into week one so week one was meant to be um, the week ending with the Tony Awards this year but since Broadway shut down in March along with everything else there are no Tony Awards to speak of um, and so they they didn't use the word canceled but canceled is what they meant they were postponed um, because they're just not happening until we know more about when Broadway will be back. But this kit is the only intermission kit from an actor plans. And I thought it was just kind of a great way to celebrate the loss of, of live theater um, and what the Tony Awards can mean in this particular week. So it has all 41 Broadway theaters represented in the full boxes. And then I use some quotes from different shows Um and really, I don't think any of them are from shows that would have been nominated this year, but they just kind of match the color scheme. So I put them in here, used a little bit of the washi from an actor plans to kind of fill in some gaps that I had. Um, but other than that, it was kind of like my typical week. Uh, I was still working at this point in time. I worked through the 11th and then I have my five week break before it's back to work. So I still had some like work call things going on. I have my Broadway weekends classes and then, you know, like I said, my son's doctor's appointment, this little, um, printable I got, I think I showed you maybe, no, maybe that's the first week I used it. I couldn't remember if I showed it at the end of May or not. See my brain, it goes away. No, I didn't. Okay. So this is the first time I used this. So originally this is where I had the FLS, the Freestyle of Supreme documentary here. When they canceled it, I pulled it off and kind of to represent like we're dealing with more important issues. This is from Coco's Vision. I don't know if it's still available, but it was a free downloadable that you could make into stickers, dashboards, whatever. Um, and it came with different hair and skin colors. Um, so there wasn't a blonde 
and I'm not actually, I'm, I'm a blonde most of the time, but I'm not a blonde currently, so I just went with the brunette. I felt like that was closest to me, um, and then put her there to kind of represent that, but we didn't really have a lot of plans this week um, going into the weekend. Our usual like grocery run, like I said, we had a scout crossover. The little Flirt Elite emblem is from the Dainty Planner. I had kind of my podcast for the week lined out. Um, and some of these shows, because I made this, you know, back on this weekend, ended up not releasing new episodes this week again to try to not be tone deaf and release new content in the midst of this Black Lives Matter movement, which really needed the bandwidth of society more than um, some just fluffy entertainment stuff, which is most of what I listen to. Um, some of them are um, historical fact, but a lot of it's just comedy and entertainment and theater. So um, definitely not needing to take the band with this particular week. But this little podcast listening thing is from uh, the shop's called Peanut Butter Taco. But she's on Instagram as Plan with Monica. So if you're looking for something to kind of hold all your podcasts, that's where I got that from. Um, and I think that's kind of it for the most part. I use, um, these are both from Design Pandemonium. I think that's it for stuff this week that I haven't talked about. So the next week, the there are a couple of people in the planner community who put out a challenge to do a Black Lives Matter week or a black and white week and try to incorporate, you know, either quotes or imagery that matches and supports the movement. So this is what I came up with. I had this uh, set of black and white, just kind of basic functional stickers from the Dainty Planner as long and then as well as I had some additional uh, full boxes with different like gray and white background patterns so I threw that down I had this black and white washi that's from like a Heidi Swap set of washi and so I kind of just made that work um then these are all on a printable sheet I think this as well from I wish I could tell you the name of the Etsy shop Dr. Molly something something I'm really bad with remembering. Um, I will put it in the episode notes though so that you can like go like down here in the description and I'll have a, a link to her uh, Etsy shop. But it was like a $2 printable and it was a, not just this, you know, small amount of quotes. It was like a whole like eight and a half by 11 sheet of different quotes. And then um, some little like the fist logo and Black Lives Matter. So just some little things like that you could use. It was perfect for this week. I used another one of these little girls over in the corner. Um, and actor plans, in addition to making all of her wonderful stickers about theater, she also made a, a free printable for um, podcasts, TV shows, movies, books that can kind of be your checklist, so to speak, in beginning your anti-racism education. And you can either download it for free off of her website, or if you add the free printable to your order on her website, she'll send you a printed copy with your order, as well as you'll get the digital version so you can continue to print your own as well. So I um, printed them immediately and um, started doing, um, going through some of the podcasts I listened to about race this week, in addition to my normal um, entertainment fluffy podcasts. Some of them had come back this week. Um, and some of them had it. I like the Hamilcast took off this week, but some came back. And so I listened to those, but then I also started listening to some other things as well. We watched 13th. We also watched on Broadway HD, which is a subscription based service. We watched Memphis, which, um, deals with an interracial relationship in like, I think like the 60s I'm really bad with paying attention to like contemporary like 20th century time periods and knowing like if it's the 50s 60s or 70s like I wasn't born yet and I never got that far in teaching when I taught history because we you know pretty much got to like the end of World War II and it was time to take the state test yeah you heard it here first folks we never really get that far not enough time in one school year so I always get them kind of confused, but I think it's about like the 60s in Memphis where it would have been illegal uh, for a, a black woman and a white man to get married or to even date. Um, and it caused them a lot of trouble. And so there's racial issues in this story. 
Um, Todrick Hall is in this filmed version, if you know him from American Idol and YouTube and all of those things. Um, fun fact, I actually cheered with him on a competitive cheerleading squad my senior year of high school. So I don't think he could pick me out of a lineup, but I do know him and, and would not forget him in a million years. Um, but there's some other, if you're a Broadway fan and you've not seen this show, there are other people in the show you will recognize who've been around. Um, James Monroe Iglehart, who's in Hamilton currently, and, well, not currently, but I guess when it's back on, he'll be there again. And then um, Montego Glover, who's been around the Broadway corner and also did Hamilton in Chicago for a little while. So that's a great um, a great watch if you have that service or want to do the free trial. I got off on a tangent. Y'all, Broadway gets me. I did take a Tina choreography dance class this week as part of my Broadway weekends. That was super fun. We had our pool installed, so um, if you follow me on Instagram, we had we ordered an above ground pool because we knew we were going to be stuck at home this summer. And in Texas, it's five zillion degrees, and we don't have a community pool in our neighborhood or anything like that. And if we did, we probably wouldn't feel comfortable going to being around all these idiots who are going all over town without masks. So we decided let's put in a pool. Like we're not spending money on a vacation this year. Like the things we would normally spend on, we're not. So let's but we, we don't have the cash for an in-ground pool because that's super spendy. So we're like, you know, let's just, let's get an above ground pool. We ordered it in May and it took till June 9th was the earliest installation date they had because they are so overwhelmed with everyone else doing the same thing we are. So they came and installed it um, and it took a couple days to like fill it up and get the chemistry right and all of that. So by Friday, Saturday, we actually could swim. And so this is a, a pool day sticker from Lexi Kylie. I actually, it's blue like royal blue, but I colored in it with a black marker to make it match. So don't be afraid to like change the colors of your stickers. You can totally do that. Just use markers and fix it. The next week in June, I used this Choose Joy kit from Design Pandemonium. I had ordered it back in like April when things seemed more joyful because quarantine felt like it was going to end. And by like mid-June, <laughs> it was not really looking like that was going to happen. So um, I chose to take this and, and look at, you know, using the joy that you do have and the things that you do enjoy to bolster you and help push you forward in learning and unlearning and becoming anti-racist in the process of being a good human and protecting your neighbor during this quarantine time by wearing a mask. Like there are lots of things that are hard and lots of conversations that are hard and uncomfortable. Um, and that doesn't mean that we have to deny ourselves joy. So I felt like this was like a good reminder in this kit this week. Uh, lots of pool time because the pool was up and running. Since there were no Tony Awards, there were the Antonio Awards. And the Antonio Awards were put on by an organization called Broadway Black who held the inaugural Broadway awards for only black performers, both on and off Broadway. Um, and it was hosted on YouTube. It was amazing. There were performances and awards given and it was just, and it was on Juneteenth. It was perfect. Absolutely perfect. Uh, so I really enjoyed getting to have some sort of celebration of Broadway. And especially when we really need to be amplifying our performers who are black and brown though it was black performers in this instance, but we need to amplify those voices that don't always get to be heard from in theater. So that was amazing. And I'm looking forward to seeing that program grow because there were some categories like wig styling where there was one person. So of course they won, they were the only one nominated um, because they were the only black person styling wigs on or off Broadway. That's sad. So hopefully that changes in the future and we have more, um, more options, more competitiveness in all of those categories going forward. Um, again, if you follow me anywhere, we all canceled Erin Condren um, between Wednesday and Thursday because she outed herself um, to be someone who's just not willing to learn and move forward and grow. She's going to keep making hollow apologies. She's going to keep um, doing things for the public look and not have any meaning behind it. Uh, if you want to know about that, there's a whole bunch of it on my Instagram you're welcome to go dig all that up at Kelly Plans at All, um, but I'm not going to rehash it here. But I did mark it in my planner, this little um, dumpster fire from Peachy Plans. And then 
you know, like I said, we're in the pool. This is from Small Town Grace. This is from Small Town Grace. Listen to Code Switcher. I started, it's a series that's, you know, several years long. I'm in no way done with it, but I only have one sticker for it. So, um, yeah, I'm still listening to Code Switch. I kind of get in a few episodes every week with the other stuff I'm listening to. Um, this is from QT, QT Planner, I think. And she has a whole sheet of holiday stickers. And they included things that a lot of shops don't include, like Juneteenth or Black History Month. Um, things that aren't always on the holiday sheets that you buy at a lot of planner shops. And she's um, a black woman. So we've got a black owned planner shop who's making holiday stickers for everything. So um, this is her Father's Day sticker too. So I thought that was cute. My son did a theater camp. It was a Harry Potter themed camp. He had a good time with that on Zoom. And that's about it for that week. Then we get into Pride Week and an actor plans did this gorgeous Pride kit with LGBTQIA plus characters from various Broadway shows, which I love because then we get to celebrate these characters um, that sometimes are, you know, sometimes they're in shows that are queer shows and sometimes they're in a show and they're the only queer character. So we've got a mix depending on what show these characters are from but there is um a lot of representation in this kit and i really love it um she also so this is the like gay version of the pride flag which i picked to go with this kit i bought a whole sheet of just the little mabels with the flag because it tied in all of the colors but she does sell these in all the other um, different pride flags and if she doesn't have one listed it's just because someone hasn't requested it yet and you can give her a special request and she can make your specific flag so um, that's awesome in line with pride week there was a sing-along version of falsettos on broadway hd so i got to watch that um not related to pride week but just fun i took it in the heights dance class um a kinky boots dance class and then I had my school graduation, which was a hot, sweaty mess, but we all survived um, somehow, <laughs> honestly. But this was just um, kind of a whirlwind week of, you know, I'm not even on contract. I've been off work, like I said, since the 11th, but I had, you know, um, a graduation that got scheduled outside of our contract time just because of when the, the venue that's approved by this, the school district and the state to use during this time of coronavirus wasn't available until then since it was a last minute date switch from our normal graduation. So yeah, it's mostly in actor plans. I do have my, my typical laundry line from the Dainty Planner. I've got this little clean sticker from Small Town Grace. I've got my little payday from Design Pandemonium, but it's a lot, it's a lot, a lot, a lot of an actor plans. I'm not mad about it. I love her stuff because um, it bleeds into the next week. So this is the last week of the month. This is um, bleeding into July this past week. So this is my Hamilton week. Um, and I love how she did this kit where it, if you are a person who celebrates Independence Day, like you are super patriotic and yay America, like the colors work for it. And if you're not, and you're just here to celebrate Hamilton, like, you know, it, it works both ways. I'm not super like yay America. I'm more like, you know, I mark the passing of it in my planner. We usually go watch fireworks. We're going to watch them on TV, um, you know, but I don't like get super, you know, I don't decorate my house for 4th of July. I don't put out a flag. I don't do any of that. Um, and I'm not feeling super patriotic this year, especially because our um, government's not really getting it right on a lot of fronts. Um, and yeah. Moving on, but I did go vote. Early voting started in Texas. Um, and in my city in particular, we have some opportunities to make a, a impact in, in terms of police funding. So I definitely went first day of early voting and took care of that. Put my voted sticker down there. Had some Broadway weekends classes all week. Got this um, these new nail stickers I just got in from Planner Craving which she's the sweetest person. If you've not followed her on Instagram, I love her Instagram stories, but I also really love these because a lot of nail stickers are for painting nails and I dip my nails. So having a nail polish bottle doesn't usually work for me. I need something different. And so I thought these were perfect. So I got those. I have a couple of Design Pandemonium Hamilton related stickers. 
And these laundry lines are from the Dainty Planner. And then I have my whole little setup here for, I mean, like Friday, it was just like, oh, we're just going to watch Hamilton, okay? Like nothing else is happening. Nothing else is happening. That's all that happened. Um, and then, you know, we got in the pool for the 4th of July. Like I said, we watched fireworks on TV, but not really. Um, we're do It's the weekend and we would have gotten in the pool anyway. So the only thing really different is the fireworks piece. Um, then we have to clean the pool and do our normal chores. And then I have a Hamilton choreography class that happened on Sunday. So lots of good things to round out this month. Let's check out the daily. So the daily portion is really quick because I really only decorated this one week. I, because I had the Enactor Plans kit and I had also ordered this other pride kit from A Little Spark. I had too many pride kits and not enough June. So I decided I would use it in my daily. And so I just took pieces of it and scattered. So if you've not watched what I do in my daily before, I use this section. I had these kit life stickers and so I just stuck them there for an extra pop of color. This is where I mark like what I've spent. Like if I, like I ordered from Amazon that day, we got drinks from Sonic. So I just mark it off as I put it in my checkbook app. Then I just added lots of little sticker pieces throughout the week to, you know, the same things I would normally use, but I just kind of pepped it up a little with some stickers. And that's really it. Like it didn't get any more complicated than that. And that's really all I use my daily for. Cause my normal daily situation is just like, it's ugly. <laughs> it's just, it's, it's functional, but it's not pretty. So this is as pretty as it got in June. So that is it, y'all. That is my um, daily and weekly kit life for June 2020. Um, July, I'm kind of, like, if you've seen some of my other videos, I've ordered some different planners. I'm playing with some different things. So the July recap will have lots of different things going on in it. And I'm excited to get to sharing that stuff next month. So thanks so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Come follow me at Kelly Plans It All on all of the social media. Um, I'm just, I like to share and I like to talk probably too much sometimes, but I'm happy to have that conversation anytime. Talk to you soon. See you next time. Bye.